What's going on guys? So today we're going to start working on the pedal assembly, getting the automatic pedal assembly out. We're also going to cut this trim piece to make room for the clutch pedal. So this little plastic trim piece right here is where the clutch pedal will be sliding. And the automatic ones, it's sort of filled in, but there is a nice cut out there, so I'm just going to have to cut it out. Tools we will be using, Phillips screwdriver, flathead screwdriver, a 3 8 driver. I also have a quarter inch driver down there. If you have quarter inch sockets, it makes it a little bit easier, but I'll need a 3 8 driver. A 13 millimeter socket, a 10 millimeter socket. Got a little quarter inch extension down there. I also used a 3 8 13 millimeter, so we got two 13 millimeters down there. We got a decently long extension. That makes it a lot easier to get the pedal assembly out by using a longer extension. I'll show you guys that later on. Set of needle nose pliers for removing a spring. A flashlight is going to be a big help. It's a little bit dark down there, it's kind of hard to see, so having a flashlight can really save you time and effort trying to locate where all the parts are. I also have a razor and a set of scissors down there. We are going to be cutting out the hole in the pedal assembly trim for the clutch pedal, and I use the razor to cut back some of the sound deadening material and the scissors to cut the actual plastic out. So to start, we have these two little screws here. This guy right here, and then there's one right over here that will allow this whole trim piece to come knocking down. Alright, once those two are off, this guy should just sort of wiggle him out and he should just pop down. There are a couple clips on the side over here that will need to sort of pop out of the spot like that. You just sort of got to gently wiggle him out. Alright, so on the front corner right here, of this side by the center console. This guy actually gets tucked in behind this piece. So kind of push him forward a little bit and out to the side and he should pop out with no problems. Once this is down, we do have to disconnect a couple of things. This being the underside light here. And there's usually also a speaker somewhere. I believe it's right here. This one's kind of missing. So we're just gonna leave that alone. And this guy should just come right out. All right, so next on the list, we gotta get this aluminum plate out of the way, and there are three little 10 millimeter bolts inside here. So there's one here, one here, one here. I got a little 10 mil here, we're gonna undo those, and then it should pop right off. All right, looks like the OBD plug-in is on that guy too, so we're gonna take a flathead and unscrew him. Oh, and that comes out. All right, now we have this air duct right here that goes to the uh, foot well. Now it's got a little clip right here on the back of it that needs to pop out in order for this guy to come off. So I'm just gonna take a little flathead screwdriver, get some pry action going. That should pop him off. And there's also another clip down underneath here. That guy needs to come off too. There we go. All right, so I have the pedal assembly out of the car already. Now I am gonna explain how this all comes out because honestly, it's really, really hard to get it on camera. And I think you guys will be able to see it better if you understand what you're looking at and how it's supposed to come out. So when you guys watch the next part of me actually taking it out of the car, you'll sort of have an idea of what's going on. So it sort of sits in like that and you push on the pedal. There is a housing bolt that goes up right here and there are four right here. Now. With these guys, to get these out, you can use a really long extension and sort of go at it from outside and you'll be able to get a lot more movement out of that without any like wires being in the way. So it's a pretty easy, it's really not a lot of room to get your wrench in up there and wrench it from up here. So wrenching it back here is a lot easier. Before we do that, there is this. This is the brake pedal switch. This does need to come off. It has a connector that slips on the end. If you pinch the connector from the top and the bottom, it'll pop right off. Aside from that, we do have this spring that holds onto the clip. This clip in here actually will push on the brake pedal switch. So this spring needs to come off. I had some needle nose pliers in there and I just popped it off pretty easy. So this little retaining pin is also going to have a clip on it. So get a flathead on there, pop that guy out. Now the brake booster is going to come through here, sort of pinch on the pedal like that. But to get that off, we're going to need to basically rotate this clip down and out. And that will fall out and then we can move this out. As far as getting the pedal assembly out goes, you sort of have to like wiggle it forward over because the fork for the brake booster is going to be sticking through here. You sort of got to move it forward down and then out. So it's a little bit of a pain, but I think if you guys look at this long enough and figure out what bolts you actually need to get off, you'll get an idea of where the spring is and where the clip is in relation to everything else. It'll make it a little bit easier for you guys to get your pedal assemblies out. All right, so if we follow the pedal assembly straight up, we'll be able to see the top end of the housing. 
Now that bolt right there is one of the bolts that is holding the pedal assembly in. We're going to go ahead and get that guy out right now. And he is a 13 millimeter. Alright, so if you follow the brake pedal all the way up, you'll find that little clip right there. Now that little clip is the clip that holds the pedal onto the brake booster. Now directly below that bolt we just took off, there's also a little spring that holds that little clip that holds the pedal onto the brake booster on there as well. We're gonna need to take that spring off and then we're gonna need to take that clip off. And so with that disconnected, this pedal will be directly disconnected from the brakes. Get this guy rotated around. Take my flathead, poke it in the back, wiggle it, and to push the clip forward at the same time. You should be able to pop off. That is our spring right there. So that guy needs to come off as well. Got some needle nose pliers here. And we're gonna try and pry him out. There we go. This little rusty part I got my finger on is actually part of the pedal assembly. Now the black box right in front of it is the brake switch. So we're gonna need to disconnect that. That guy disconnects from right there and then we'll be good to pull the pin out for the brake. It's gonna be a little bit hard to get on camera, but basically if you pinch the top and the bottom of the connector, the connector is gonna slide right out. All right, so the spot where we disconnected that little clip right here, there's a little pin in there. So we're gonna push that through, pull the pin through on the other side. You're gonna have to wiggle it a little bit, get it turned around, and then that guy should come right off. The spring will fall out, and then our pedal is basically free. Here we got four nuts holding the assembly in. We got one here, one up top, one down here, and another one in the back top corner right there. And they are all 13 millimeter. And don't sweat too hard about getting them out. They're really not that difficult. Once you can get an eye on where they are down there, you can use a 13 mil on a really long extension and you should be able to hook them on pretty easily. So instead of trying to get the bolts with your wrench in there, get a nice extension so you can move your wrench way out here and they'll come off super easy. You're gonna have to move the wires around a little bit to get your extension on there, but there's no metal brace in the way of any of them so you can get them out pretty easily. And I'm going to go in from the right side of this fat wiring harness here to get to the fourth one. Alright, so once those are done, the whole assembly should be pretty loose. Yeah, so now it's just a matter of maneuvering it off of the studs on the back. There's basically a better view of what it's going to look like without the pedal assembly. There's a whole lot of wiring mess down there from that aftermarket radio system. So I'm going to have to deal with that but you guys shouldn't have to deal with this much BS wiring. It's just really in the way. And you can sort of push and move the wires out of the way a little bit to get some better access to this stuff. And basically, here's what you end up with. It's got the whole pedal housing, it's got the brake switch on it, and it's got the automatic pedal. It also has the mounting side for the actual clutch. It's just missing because it is an automatic. So here's the pedal assembly with the full clutch side on it. I have a separate video on how to put all of this together. Be sure to check that out. All right, so our pedal assembly is now out. So if you're gonna reuse this housing, this is where you would put the clutch side on and you would replace uh, the brake pedal with a clutch one. But now we are going to turn our attention to this guy. So this is the actual part that goes like the trim underneath. So your steering wheel would be about here. Now underneath here, we have a little cutout for the throttle. We have a little cutout for the brake and the clutch is right here. Now, if you'll notice, it does have a spot on here as in it's got like a little cutout for it. It just doesn't, it's just not cut out basically. So we're gonna go in here and we're gonna cut this out, make room for our clutch. All right, so I ripped the foam off of that side. All right, so that's it. We got our automatic pedal assembly out and we got the hole cut for the clutch pedal. Thank you guys so much for watching. Keep it fresh and I will see you guys later.